this oh, in a snowstorm? Look at this Duluthian. <laughs> oh, maybe I should go in. That was... Oh my gosh. <laughs> You'd hear it rumbling. Oh. <laughs> Don't know if that picked up, but that was thunder. Thunder snow out there in Minnesota. Noelle, have you ever heard anything like that before? No, I have not. She's like, maybe I should go in. I'm like, maybe I should go in is right, because that's what I would be saying. That's scary. Seriously, I talked to her too. She was just taking an innocent video at 740 in the morning, just trying to show her parents in Florida that it was snowing, and then that happened. <laughs> Snow thunder, who knew? Uh, yes, it was roaring there across the North Shore of Lake Superior, Duluth picking up over a foot of snowfall yesterday, and it's not done. They are getting pummeled there, where this number looks like nothing to them. Here for us, though, that's a huge number. We talk about that snowstorm all the time here in the Northeast Wisconsin. Last winter, the biggest storm that we put down was about six and a half inches there. Now, Iola, you're coming in at nine inches. These snow totals still being reported here. There's probably a lot more out there than actually being reported, but I will say about three to four inches seems accurate from when I left at 2 a.m. into Appleton and Green Bay as well. Look at these ice-covered, snow-covered, slick and slippery roads out there. Be careful at intersections, even if they look plowed. All of that traction and friction with the tires and then the ice melt on top of it and then new freezing temperatures, it is slick and slippery through there. Give yourself extra stopping distance. Stop way early. Stay away from those plows and those other cars. We're already seeing accidents being reported on I-41 all throughout the morning hours. It is ice covered out there, those road conditions, and slippery and slushy, okay? So we're also dealing with barely any visibility into Pembine and Ephraim where it is still coming down pretty heavy. But for the rest of the Fox Valley, this is starting to wind down. The brunt of the storm, the biggest accumulations are done and over here for us now. Now we're looking at some ice and sleet pushing into New York and the East Coast as well. That's going to be very dangerous for them. And we're going to look at this winter storm warning expiring at 9 a.m. And in fact, the snow lifting out of the Northwoods by 10 a.m. Doesn't mean we're not going to see any more snow, but we could see shots of snow showers headed our way. So overall, really no more accumulations left, but maybe an inch into Pembine and ants ago. So this system doesn't leave. It doesn't head off to the east coast. It continues actually up to the north, continuing to give us south winds that are still going to be breezy and we're still going to have shots of snow as we continue through today, tomorrow, and into the weekend as well. The biggest accumulation shot of snow will be overnight tonight through Friday morning. That could affect our morning commute, especially further west and north you live. Fox Valley still seeing some of that as well. It's just going to be a wintry snow globe kind of weekend out there. We've got our white stuff on the ground for a white Christmas. And of course, by the end of this week, and we'll be at about another half an inch to two inches possible. So when the snow's done flying around, then we've got to battle the brutal cold. That's right, our first Arctic blast is headed our way, and it's going to slash these high temperatures in half. So enjoy them now. Go for a walk in the woods. We're going to see overnight lows falling down into the 20s tonight, so real freezing temperatures. Barely climbing above freezing tomorrow, so anything that looks shiny and glossy and wet will probably be ice. So please keep that in mind. Sidewalks, parking lots are going to take a while to get treated. We will start to see the sunshine by Sunday and Monday, but if we talk about Monday for that game, putting some wind chills on top of those highs only in the teens, it's really going to feel like about zero degrees at kickoff for that Packers game. It's going to feel like nearly negative 15 to negative 20 by the time that game is said and done. That's the case as we head through next week and quite the extended period as well. So whew, take a deep breath. I hope you guys are sitting down for that because winter's here. No, it is. The first real snowfall and now get ready for the cold. Yes, be safe, everybody. Thanks, Brittany.